back in action and uh, pretty pumped today. Today's starting off pretty good. The good news is, is that I'm not all sore from my freaking workout. Remember the last time I was just so sore for like a week from just two exercises. But the exercises I did yesterday, it's like, damn, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm sore at all, really. It's amazing. I mean, my body has adapted that fast. But, uh, I mean, there's multiple things to be excited for today. Um, I got a, I don't know if you can see the package behind me. That's my uh, prototype e-bike. I got to send it back. But it's funny, I saw the UPS guy driving by. I waved him down. I was like, yo, can you take my package? Unfortunately, he couldn't scan the barcode. I don't have the label. But uh, it was just still pretty funny. <laughs> I was pumped on it. That would have been freaking awesome if he did that. But uh, another reason why I'm excited today is I have the, uh, the XZ bike behind me there. And uh, I went ahead and threw on my fancy wheels on it. And it freaking lost four and a half pounds. So it went from 31 and a half to, uh, to 27.1, I think. So... That's pretty dang good. My uh, bird hardtail, the silver one, that one, it fluctuates between like high 26s and low 27s. Um, so that freaking XC hardtail has some potential. And uh, I still don't, I still have a fixed seat post on it, um, but I'm, I'm just gonna go ride single track, like purely single track the whole entire time where I can just have my seat up the whole time. Um, so it's, it's not a problem when you're doing single track. It's just a problem when you're like jumping and trying to get low. Uh, but I am working out a, a, a problem with uh, putting a dropper on it. One of the uh, water bottle mounts interferes with the seat post. Let's see if I can go right now. Yeah, it interferes with the seat post. So uh, for I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm going to have to drill out the riv nut behind it and then I can uh, drop it down. I have to drill the frame in multiple different spots. Um, but I think that would be a cool video. I haven't really hacked up a frame in a while. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this light. Hell yeah, made that light. But yeah, I haven't uh, drilled up a frame in a while. and. Uh, Man, it's, it's tough. So when you're doing base training, it's like all about just getting in your, you know, your zone two rides and just like getting seat time, right? I mean, I'm not really focused on intervals and intensity just yet. Maybe a little bit here and there, but um, where, where was I going with this? Yeah, so I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of variation with, uh, with what I can do on the trail. So, oh shoot, I forgot my heart rate monitor. Damn it. Oh, well, I guess it's going to be a free ride today. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I can kind of play it by ear now, um, but I, I just, I think I'll, I'm going to try to, you know, like I said, ride single track, but this time try to just keep the pressure on the pedals at all times. Uh, even on the downhill, we'll see. We'll see about that because sometimes it's not possible um, when you're like picking your way, slicing your way through the single track. So... Um, I'm going to try to pedal and push on the pedals as much as possible. Not hard, but just keep a constant pressure and hopefully get about an hour and a half moving time. Um, we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yes, I signed up for a, um, a group gravel ride. It's going to be a 50 K. Um, so that's like 31, 32 miles. I'm still like on kind of on the fence about it because it's like a group ride into another town and then you're like talking with a mayor and then you're like doing some eating lunch somewhere it's like I'd rather just ride straight through I don't really want to have lunch with a mayor of a town <laughs> so I don't know we'll see I I think I should go just because I don't really I've never done a group ride uh, on gravel. I've done it on a road bike before and it's cool catching a draft. You know, that's, that helps out with, uh, you know, getting some distance in and keeping your maintaining energy. Oh shit. What the hell? It's like construction over here. Yeah. Um, so 
I think I should go. Maybe there will be a group that kind of breaks away because um, I think they're just taking all skill levels where it's like newbies and, you know, aspiring beginners <laughs> and then like experts and pros. I don't even freaking know. So I'll just kind of play it by ear. Uh, and 30, it's like either 31 or 36 miles. There's two different routes. And it's like, that's going to be either distance is the farthest that I've ever ridden uh so that makes me nervous a little bit too um i don't know but i think i should do it 30 31 miles adding that to the weekly score and and, and it says it's going to take five hours i don't know but i think i should do it just try to fuel bring a bag or two and um we'll see but i got a couple errands to run and then i will uh check in with you guys at the trail Oh man, I'm kind of bummed that I forgot the heart rate strap. And uh, pretty soon here I'll have the power meter on this bike too. So, be able to see what I'm doing, see how consistent my wattage is, all that shit. Especially with the goal of, uh, you know, pressing on the pedals the whole time today. Be really valuable to have a power meter. I'm pretty happy I invested like 600 bucks getting one last year. Obviously I had no use for a power meter a year ago. I was having fun with some uh, testing and everything, but I don't think people really cared for it. But now that I'm training, it's like shit, I'm glad I bought that thing, but Man, this bike is, oh, hold on. This bike is pretty awesome with the XC wheels. And uh, if I can get the seat down, you know, my seat dilemma, man, this bike is gonna be probably my main bike. And uh, dude, these things are so much freaking fun, dude. And it's a warm one today. It's like uh, 50 degrees. <laughs> I even took off a base layer before I started riding. <sighs> yeah, with the XC bike, it's like, it's fun uphill and on like fast flowy, you know, single track or flow trails. It's fun there too. So it's like, man, freaking XC bikes, dude. <sighs> So what I want to do is I want to do something I've never done before. I want to ride from one trail system to the other. It really depends on uh, what my time is at, see how much time I'm spending. I don't want to be out here for forever and riding that far away from the car, from, away from infrastructure, away from people. It's a little risky, but I mean, we're just mountain biking here. So let me pop this on my chest and uh, enjoy this downhill. Got another XC rider right there. Pretty cool. All right, seat is all the way up. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh 
he's quick. I'm not there yet. Yeah, he had a uh, Allied BC40, which is the XC bike they make right here in Bentonville. They're so expensive too. I'd love to try one one day though. I think just the frame and the shock is like 5,000 bucks. <laughs> okay, he's gone. But if I was comparing myself with others and going, oh, I gotta keep up with that guy. Well, then I would totally blow it on today's ride, today's plan. And uh, I wouldn't be able to ride to the other trail section, potentially. It's like, I gotta ride within myself and maybe that's a strategy for racing too. I gotta not go over my limit and maybe I can come back later on if I get dropped. Yeah, I really can't pedal right here. If I wanted constant pressure, I can pedal right here, it's uphill. That's just not how mountain bike trails are. It's not like road biking. Man, this bike is nimble though. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, rock garden goes with the better wheels. Oh. A little bit better. Yeah, the last time I rode this was uh, with flat pedals too with those shitty fucking crank feather shoes. I returned those yesterday, by the way. Those are gone. I do have crank brothers in a second. Crank Brothers uh, clip shoes, can you see them? That's why I bought the Crank Brothers flat shoes, because they're amazing. The, the clip ones are amazing at least. So I'm like, yeah, I want the matching pair. Psych. Whew. Yeah, let me know if you clip in. I mean, I imagine people who are watching this for fitness probably do clip in. I would say the majority. Maybe I'll run a poll. <laughs> uh, starting right attached to my Gucci wall. Oh, fuck. It's pretty interesting about the, uh, whoa, the seat post. So having a fixed seat post, if I'm going down like a chunky section where I stand up, well, the seat is like another way to like feel the bike. And uh, you can take your thighs and squeeze the seat. Oh. Yeah, so it's like I can squeeze the seat a little bit and I kind of feel the bike dancing around a little bit more and uh, fight the bike from deflecting and even with a dropper, let's say you can take your seat and slam it all the way on your trail bike or whatever, you would be surprised how much you rely on the seat to uh, tell you like where your bike is. And uh, if you're doing it correctly, you use your seat to create a lean angle in the turns. There's so many things where we take our seat for granted. <laughs> so 
I don't know, man. If I stick to purely XE trails on this XE bike, maybe I don't even, oh. <laughs> maybe I don't even need a dropper, but uh, I'll have to weigh it. I'm curious, I guess the uh, P&W dropper weighs like five, 500 grams. So I want to weigh it against the uh, fixed seat post. I imagine the fixed seat post are, a carbon one probably weighs 150 grams. The fixed seat post, the stock one, probably weighs 300 grams. So is it like, is it worth saving a pound? I mean, I gotta lose 20 pounds. That's probably a better investment. <laughs> Why am I riding this, holding this camera like this? I gotta, I gotta focus up here. <laughs> so today's January 3rd and uh, I'll be posting it in just a little bit. I'll be posting my third video here. And so far I'm at like 500 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. The uh, first two videos are at like 600 plus views a piece. So that's awesome too. And I've getting a lot of great comments and everything. Really appreciate all you guys. And, and, and no haters too, which is, uh, which is very refreshing. I just want to create a bunch of passionate, or a, a community, a bunch of passionate people. And so I'm in Bentonville, Arkansas. If you know of any cyclocross races or any gravel races, any XC races, please let me know in the comments because I'm looking for stuff to do. Oh, dang. Did they open up a new area? I'm gonna go check that out. They opened up a new area of the skills park. I gotta fill up water anyway. Yeah, let me know about any races. Ugh, why am I gonna do a drop on this bike? What am I doing? I think it's only like 24 inches though. Did I do a drop on this bike when I originally rode it? Just like a bunch of crazy jumps. Oh, watch this technical downhill yeah I got Shimano MT 200 brakes on pretty much cheap as they come but uh, they work pretty good for this bike only two piston ah oh, let's see what kind of drops you're working with here Oh, not too bad. Ooh, kind of dropped a flat. All right. Need to build like a whole little skills park here. Hopefully it works okay with the... Oh, is this closed? Uh, yeah, I think right now we're going to open it up right here. Oh, I came in from right there. I did not realize the sign. Sorry about that. <laughs> sure you don't need a test rider? Oh, you said hit it. All right, I'm doing the middle one. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, not bad, not bad. See, how's his turn looking? Yeah. Cool deal. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> well, about 30 minutes, uh, 33 minutes of moving time so far. Um, man, it's nice being back on some familiar wheels. But now I'm crossing the street. I'm getting towards the edge of Slaughter Pen. And now I'm gonna be heading to the next trail section. But I kind of want to press hard on the pedals going up this hill right here. Let me give that a try and uh, I wish I had my heart rate sensor, but we'll see exertion. We'll base off exertion. How about that? Whew. 
All right, right after this switchback, coming up here, I'm gonna do an effort. I rode through some uh, jumps. I just don't feel like jumping today. I just wanna leave my seat high and just pedal. All right, here we go. Shift a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Probably doing 300 watts. Turn is always hard. Yeah, my heart rate went up pretty high right there. Man, it's it's weird going fast uphill because uh, I'm used to it going by so slow. <laughs> so it's like, oh, that's a turn. Usually, you just you don't really think about it, and then you're like navigating stuff, but. I have my fancy cassette, an XX1 cassette, paired with a stock derailleur, the Dior 12-speed and a Dior 12-speed chain. So it works pretty good. I haven't had any problems, but the, sometimes it doesn't shift perfectly and you can tell it like wants to. But uh, I mean, for mismatching brands, it's freaking awesome. But yeah, it felt good to be let out of the cage a little bit. Push on the pedals hard. Dang. Just like that, I'm on a gravel road to the next area. Oh man, this gravel road is so packed in. Oh, gotta keep that pressure. I'm spun out, can't pedal any faster. So. I'll go a little harder here. Okay. Oh, a little punchy climb. Well, all of a sudden, I'm crossing over a freeway. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's crazy. Once you get a little bit of fitness going on, I mean, you can cover some serious ground. Look at this. Yeah. You can cover some serious ground. I didn't even realize this was this close. Well, we are officially at a trail system called Hand Cut Hollow. And there was a couple of signs. I probably could have timed that to like you know, be passing the sign right when I'm right when I'm saying it, but I mean this is raw. <laughs> so I've ridden this trail before. This was the first trail that I came to the day after I moved here, and uh, the reason why is my family flew in a couple days after, and I figured this is the one furthest from my house, so probably not gonna you know get out and get to ride this one that much so I came out here rode a whole bunch and then I did the ride all Bentonville series and then I rode this again but only those two times we'll see how much of it I can ride 
before I gotta head back. It's 345. But it's weird. It's like these kind of trails right here. I think I like them. I like riding this kind of stuff just as much as flow trails with jumps. Maybe more. Because at least with this stuff, you're kind of like exploring. You don't really know what's coming up. And uh, there's no pressure to like go fast and jump stuff. It's just the exploration vibe. I mean, this is awesome. And there's no one around too. And plus on these kind of trails, you can find little sneaky bits like this turn. Oh yeah, that gave me a little dopamine dump. Right here's a little tricky. Ooh, that's a little loose. Yeah, so there's like little bits of dopamine and it's relatively safe. At least if you fall going, you know, five miles an hour, it's not that bad. Let's see, advanced loop or regular loop. Ah, advanced loop, come on, let's go. Okay. The I remember the first time I did the advanced loop. I don't know about the second time. Oh man, I love how XC bikes are maneuverable. Whoa, that's a tight turn. Yeah, but it's such a tight turn right there with my uh, nice hardtails or any of my full suspensions would have been, uh, probably would have had to dismount or at least dab. You guys know what dabbing is? Not talking about getting high. I'm talking about putting your foot down. <clears throat> I don't know if they use that term a lot. Uh-oh, this is wet. Oh! <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. A little steep right here. Oh. Yeah, I remember this trail. So I'm on the outskirts of uh, Handcut right now. And uh, I rode here. I remember specifically riding here for the uh, Ride All Bentonville Challenge. Oh crap, I gotta get off right here. The log, I can't bunny hop it with my seat that high. What's loose back here though? It's not my wheel. Something's loose. Who knows? But I rode this trail and I specifically remember this was like the end of the uh, ride every trail in this system. I haven't rode every trail today. I mean, I'm an hour and 15 minutes in, but um, I remember I was like incoherently uh, rambling up that trail right there. And my heart rate was like 180. And I was like, screw my heart rate. And I was like saying these motivational things like pretty much like David Goggins. <laughs> that guy's a freaking whack job by the way. But um, now I came here with a little bit of fitness and uh, just realized like those ride all of Bentonville challenges Man, I was so ill-prepared in so many ways. I was just kind of winging it. Oh, sorry for flopping out on the camera. Yeah, I was just kind of winging it. And uh, I wasn't carbed. I wasn't carbed up at all. I didn't have the proper bike for that. I, uh, I wasn't physically prepared. It's like, what was I thinking? Now I'm like, I could ride a whole trail system. It was taking me like six hours 
to ride like 20 miles. You know, on single track, it's a lot slower. But yeah, six hours, 20, maybe 25 miles. So it's crazy. But I can say that this, uh, this XC bike really, I don't want to say it allows me to ride further and farther. That's the same thing further and faster because I don't want to be like a shill or, or be accused of like trying to influence you. If anything, I'm kind of just like pumped on XC uh, bikes in general. I want to try out more of them because I'm just like grinding away right here, having a good old time, dude. Oh, oh I got a bump. So, I'm going to keep plugging away, running out of daylight though, the sun, can you see it there? Yeah, so that's a hill, so I got a little bit more, but yeah, that's going to be sunset on certain sides of the hill. So I should probably not take the long way around, I'm just going to take the traversing route. I feel like I've ridden no downhill this whole time. <laughs> what the heck is this? It's like a field. Yeah, I feel like it's like no downhill the whole time. And I don't know if you guys are watching me for downhill, but it's definitely interesting to watch. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, it's loose right there. Yeah, this area of hand cut hollow, I imagine gets like little to no traffic. No one talks about it. Oh man, I like pedaling out of the saddle every once in a while. This bike like loves it. Okay, tight switch back. Oh. Okay, what's this line? <laughs> All right, where'd the sun go? <laughs> Better hurry back. Time to head on back. Yeah, I only saw two cars and I have yet to see a person riding out here. Yeah, I rode this trail quite a bit uh, with the e-bike. Oh no, it's closed. What? Is there a way around? Yeah. Okay. Freshly cut. Where does this go? Ah, it's off camber as fuck. I saw some wild berries. Why is that closed? Yeah, I would love to know about uh, wild berries, like what I can eat and what I can't. Oh, this is some sticky dirt. <laughs> this, I never ride. Sticky dirt. Oh, I got traction though, so that's good. Huh. 
yeah, I feel kind of bad riding in mud like this, but, uh oh. I mean, they rerouted it. The trail is right there, it looks fine too. <laughs> Good old mud riding. This will slow the uh, average speed. Ooh, we got a fresh wood bridge. It's gonna be dirty here in a second. <laughs> okay, hopefully we get some gravel, not mud. Yeah, interesting. Got some hikers. Hey there. Uh, I was just fishing because this was open just the other day. And it looks fine. Have you gone this way yet? I haven't gone that way, but... Just a... We usually go this way because yeah, that's the trail. Yeah, and it's a perfectly good trail, and they, they yeah, never get it. Up. <laughs> yeah, look at my... Come out at? Look at my tires. It's just a freaking mud yeah. pit. Yeah, Let's just come back and go that one trail. I'm just going to go across this until I get back to where they stopped working on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're on the road. Yeah, it's pretty close to the road. Yeah. That's for sure. See ya. Yeah, that's real sloppy right there. Yeah, yeah. alright, see ya. Nope. <laughs> he said, you didn't see the runners breaking the rules. This is what uh, Unbound is going to be like, I guess. Look, I got slick tires all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, let's see how long before the mud clears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really have no experience with mud. But I do have Unbound on my calendar. I think it would be a good experience. Maybe a good story for YouTube. I feel like Unbound videos always do well. I wonder how much heavier the bike is with all the mud. Maybe like a pound or two. I'm gonna keep pushing on. Well, the trail crossed over onto a gravel path I think this gravel is like somewhat new. And they might even use it for big sugar. And plus it'll allow me to get some speed. Hopefully clear off some of this mud. There's still nothing. I've been moving, oh no, is this not a gravel road? <laughs> okay, so far so good. Oh, we got like a little bridge there. What is this? Gotta love a flat switchback. This stuff looks all fresh though, dude. It's like this is like freshly opened. Maybe as like of a week or two ago. I can see why, man. There's a lot of decay. It's pretty cool. Ah, pushing it. All right, well, here is the exit. And it's always a big relief. When you set out to uh, explore a new route, even if you have GPS, when you're like, all right, I made it back. I'm on the path back home. And uh, yeah, it's like I've only been moving an hour and 40 minutes. It's like, I don't really know exactly where I was going. And uh, man, that was some sticky mud. It's been uh, 
15 minutes of moving time and the mud still has not cleared. It's like, my bike is destroyed. I need a new one already. Just kidding. But sure would be nice to uh, have someone wash my bikes. I would hire someone for that for sure. But now I'm getting back into a uh, slaughter pen in a minute. It's almost five o'clock, 4.42. But yeah, all that time, and I've only made it 11 miles. That's pretty low. <laughs> Average speed is probably, what, six miles an hour? I, I hope to get that up one day. Let's go bombing down some gravel. Oh yeah. Come on mud, get off my tires. Oh, it's getting in my face. Ah. Oh yeah. Pugh. Feels like I'm going 40. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be kind of sketch on a gravel bike. I was going to stop recording after that downhill, but I feel like I just hit a flow state. And like everything's getting easy. I'm like flowing these trails. The bike fits amazing right now. I could be delusional, like I was talking about earlier in my Ride All Bentonville video. Like, oh yeah. Just flowing right now. Oh yeah. That's a little tight. Yeah, man, just. Blowing it right now. So sick. I mean, I'm just hugging the hillside. Oh, even that was good, wow. But all right, that means I am back in slaughter pen. Look at that, I timed it correctly. <laughs> well, that lasted a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Uh, excuse me there. Um, but yeah, an hour and 52 minutes of uh, moving time, 1400 feet of climbing. So that's pretty good. Let me hit finish on this thing. So that'll put me at like uh, over three hours for the week. And uh, isn't it? Well, I guess it's Wednesday. Slacking. Yeah, average speed 7.5 miles an hour. That's funny. That's some funny stuff. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I was just thinking, a lot of people mention with cycling that there's like genetics involved. And that's kind of like a bummer that that's even in the conversation. Like it almost like, ruins all hope that you could you know achieve something in cycling they go oh pro cyclist those are genetic freaks and it also like diminishes their work i mean they freaking work hard i mean sure there is maybe some genetics involved um like vo2 max i think is is a metric that uh depends on genetics but at the same time cycling isn't just one class 
It's not just like, oh, there's pro and that that's it. I fully believe with this journey, if I can stick to it, if I can ride 10 to 15 hours a week, structured workouts, I truly believe that somewhere down the line, I'm going to achieve some sort of excellence. That's why I did not BMX. I mean, I won a national championship race and that's the biggest race of the year, the biggest stage. And that was just like 20 freaking years of hard work paying off. So I think that I will achieve some sort of excellence. I mean, I, I'm kind of, I'm old for a pro, right? If I want to turn pro, I'm, I'm kind of up there, right? But there's cat three, cat two, cat one. There's the masters category. There's all these different disciplines. So I believe, I'm not trying to say sandbag, but I believe that I can win a race one day. Um, and let's say you're, uh, you're not really into racing. That's fine. Well, I believe that I could do, I could ride the whole unbound and not have any problems where I'm going to die or something. I believe maybe I could do that. It's, it's just the opportunity will present itself and I'll find out, you know, hindsight's 2020, but I just got to stick to this. And sure enough, the hard work, the hard work will pay off. And, uh, same thing for you too. Like don't, don't get twisted up in people saying like, Oh, that guy's talented. It's like basically what they're saying is, Oh, he's, he's good. Just automatically. There, there's very few people that are good automatically. And I mean, there's even pros that have to work on fundamentals like all the time or else they start like, you know, getting sloppy. They just put in a lot of work. So don't fall into this trap of genetics and talent. Fall into the trap of hard work will give prosperity. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to be all freaking motivational there. But um, hey, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Like I've been saying, I love making these freaking videos. And uh, I would love, don't tell people on the main channel, but I would love for this to become the main channel. If, if this starts, you know, picking up speed, maybe it gets 10,000 views a video. I mean, that's enough for me to live on. And um, I, I just love talking with you guys, having you guys along with me in the journey. And uh, it, it, it's just really fun. So thank you if you made it this far in the video. If you made it this far in the video, comment uh, um, cake. <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry, I don't know. Yeah, comment cake if you made it this far in the video. Really appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>